Hey YouTube, <clears throat> it's been a while since I made a video. I'm sorry about that, but I've been so, so busy. We've been doing some logging, and uh, the um, the time was of the essence. I, I didn't have enough time before the chipper guys came through to really pick up all of the lumber that we were going to have. So let me show you what I did here. Um, I've seen some people wrap plastic around their buckets and different things and you know anything that'll stop the light from going through is good. I found out that duct tape works good and it's not really that expensive. The only thing is, I don't know if I made a video about this but I don't have a roll over here. There are certain brands of duct tape and Lowe's sells it that is actually UV resistant. So that's what that stuff is. So anyway, you take your pipe, now what I did was I just took a knife and put a little X across this thing so it would walk out of here. I take the pipe, put a little bit of Vaseline on it just to help it go through that rubber in there. <clears throat> and there's a rubber gasket in there. I want to make sure that it stays in so it doesn't leak in the bucket. Don't you know it, the one that I want to videotape is the one giving me the most grief. Why is that? I don't know if I can get in from this side. It's actually the other side I want to get in or bring it out from. What happened? The rubber came off the bucket there. Okay, now. So. Put a little bit of Vaseline on that and then I bring the pipe, see there's a rubber seal in there, put a pipe in there and it keeps water in the bottom of the bucket and I just bring that out. Now, um, as your netting gets uh, older, the net itself is good but this elastic doesn't you know, work too long worse than underwear. But anyway, I cleaned them out pretty good. And what I found is, and these things are cheap at Harbor Freight, so if you take some of these zip ties, this is the uh, longer size, and you put them through here, I think four of them does it. wrap it around the net and pull this tight and it will keep the net on there when you throw the perlite in. So you just use a bucket, take perlite, dump it in there. You don't have to pack it or nothing, I'm just you know wanting it to settle the net in there a little bit. And I'm keeping it down somewhere in there, okay? So it does, it's not above the light there. It doesn't really matter, just so you have enough for all your roots, and that depends on how, you know, you're gonna do this, or how, much, how the plants grow, I mean. So, that's what I've been going after here. Anyway, um, yeah, so, the buckets are nice and clean inside and they were gritty or very green and all. So again after I put the duct tape and I go right over the rubber seal, just put a couple marks in there, a couple X's and stuff or whatever. Grab your pipe and put a little bit of Vaseline petroleum jelly. You want to hold the rubber in there. Push down first, twist that, and bring it out. Works better that way. I guess this one already has a pipe on it. Now the length of this pipe, um, I don't know if you can see it, but that white pipe, yeah you can see it, this white pipe that goes along here is running downhill. I don't know if you can see that from there. So, um, some of these short 
sections of pipe need to be put in there so the pipe goes into the hole. Okay? I'm going to put the net in there. <coughs> So anyway, it's just a, I'm not going to make you watch all 20 buckets, but this is how you do it. For those of you who are visual learners like me, and I hated school. I was good in at school. I loved math, but I hate, I hated uh, sitting there all day. It drove me freaking nuts. But anyway, I went through it all pretty much. Today's a good day to do this. It's not too hot in the greenhouse. I think it's like 65. Yesterday, the weather was insane. Yesterday, the temperature in the greenhouse was 120. I think this is a two gallon bucket, so roughly Figuring there's three buckets of that to uh, fill a five gallon bucket. So one more time just to make sure you spot this. I just, I, I duct taped right over top of the grommet that's in there, okay? So I'm just gonna, without cutting the rubber now, I'm just putting a X on there. And that'll, and come out, if you come out from the inside you'll push that tape outward and what that will do is it will help it to stop from leaking a little bit. It's not a, it's not a big repair here for leaking but what it is is it will help a little. It will keep the rubber in place as well. So I'm liking the way that works and I don't know if this duct tape is going to work. This is just an experiment. I, you know I bought this UV uh, type duct tape and I just want to see what's going to happen because Part of growing hydroponically is to save money, you know, with the crop that you get. Well, you're not saving any money if you have to buy these nets every year, you know. It's between the nets and the perlite, if you were to throw that away every year, there's no way that you would be, you know, doing this in a, a profitable manner. Now, you know, if this was a hobby for me and I didn't want to kill myself with it, I would throw the perlite and stuff away. In fact, the first year I did, and I was sorry I did because the perlite, I'm in north central Pennsylvania, and the perlite that I know of in bulk bags, big bags, is all the way over in Bethlehem, PA, which is, for those of you who know geography, Bethlehem from here is about 200 miles. And, uh, I hate going anywhere. I love being at my house since I'm retired. I can spend a lot of time doing all the things that I want to do. And I like doing all kinds of stuff. I mean, yesterday, like I say, yesterday I was logging. Today I'm, um, you know, doing the greenhouse. And this is what helps to keep you young. Now, I'm not saying that I look young. I'm not saying that, you know, I feel young, because I sure as heck don't. But, I want to stay doing stuff. And I noticed that the more you do, I mean, I don't think there's any harder job than logging, really. There's not, not much harder work than that. And what I noticed is, the first day I come home, I thought it was going to drop dead. But then, after a, getting a good night's sleep, eating, a little, eating some protein, I eat some eggs and some steak to help me um, to help me get my protein back in my body. It seems like it pays off to go and keep yourself busy. So anyway, this is the last one I'm going to do on the camera. And if you had help, it would be nice. My, um, my wife is a big help to me, but she has her chores in the house, and I don't like goofing her up in there because 
I end up suffering anyway. Either supper won't be done on time, or she'll be a little upset because she didn't get her chores done. So I try not to ask her for help if I can absolutely do it by myself. So you can see how nice this works. I mean, I think this is just about perfect here. Okay, so that's how I get the buckets ready. And when, like I say, the little pieces of pipe here that are going to go on those 90 bends will fit into those holes. And this way here, when I water the plants, the water will run down back into the little storage bin that we're going to have. Uh, check this out, guys. Apparently, an acorn. I had the, the I had a problem with the roof this year with the greenhouse, and so an acorn fell into that perlite. Look at the little. See that? That's a white. Uh, or no, that's a red oak. Red oak tree growing. So anyway, we'll take a look while we're in here. And my new handy kid dandy Sony cam, which my wife bought me for Mother's Day. Look how nice they're coming. Man, those cabbages are coming good. And that lettuce, if you remember, the other day I made a video of the lettuce. I don't even know if I posted that video, but anyway, the other day the lettuce was like that. And she cut that off. I mean, she gave that thing a baldy. And look at it. A week later, it's back up again. And that's that black seeded Simpson. And when you eat that, it's so, so good. So, yep. That's what we had so far. Oh, now. The other thing here is I had uh, these red cups. What these are is I planted red oak trees and a couple white oak. I don't know if you can see that in there. Where are you? Yeah, these are acorns and the little trees are getting going in there. Where you at? There you are. And uh, after they get maybe about a foot tall or so, I'll find a place to plant them on the property. And in this way, you know, I cut some red oak down and I plant some red oak. So that's how it's going to work. Well, it isn't even 60. It's only 56 in here. So, yeah, for those of you who maybe this is the first time looking at my channel, this is my greenhouse. I built it out of polycarbonate, and it's held up very well. I had a problem with the ridge, the very ridge up top. I had tried to form a ridge out of polycarbonate, and it didn't work out too good, so I ended up doing it with... Uh, Aluminum that's working out a lot better. Um, I have a 50 gallon drum of diesel fuel and I have fuel in here and, and I'll tell you the fuel just like in all farming is a major expense in farming and even in this little greenhouse because You need a heater that big. That's a hundred and fifty thousand BTU heater and That drum was filled last month, and it's about half full now I just turned the heat on for a little bit just to raise it up in here. It's probably more like 45 out or 48. 48 I think it was this morning. But, you know, this is something that it's hard to recover from that fuel cost. Now I also use some of that fuel for in my backhoe. So, you know, I haven't really been keeping track of that. So at the moment, this is more like a hobby to me. But I don't want it to really be a hobby. I want it to produce. And last year I had a problem with tomatoes. I, it, the year before was unbelievable. Last year was not as good. But this year um, I'm thinking that this is going to be pretty nice because I have all these lettuces growing like crazy. The cabbage is going crazy. So I'm happy with this. Alright guys, we'll have a good one. I hope uh, that the, my sharing this video with you may have you know, giving you a little bit of incentive to get out there and do something. Alright, bye-bye.